Brad's Man United 2, Chelsea 1. Um, I know, mate, you, you didn't even want to come. You were down in the dumps after the Newcastle game. Um, did you expect a game like that? Did you expect a performance like that? No, not at all. <laughs> but no Trashford, have a party. Ooh, wow, you went straight there. We're so much more fluid without him today. Because with Rashford, he's so greedy. Um, it just stops the flow of the attack. But today, Anthony did well. Garnacho were fantastic. Hoyland, he was in and out, but he, he was putting his body on the line. He was trying to get stuck in, which was nice to see. But Tomini had a fantastic game, so it was great to see. How much credit do you give Eric Ten Hag for, for taking Marcus Rashford out? And do you think that's him trying to send him a message there because he brought him on with like what eight minutes ago it wasn't like it was getting to the 60th minute and he that badly wanted to bring him on um is that is that does, does Eric Ten Hag deserve credit for that absolutely because that's the thing I was slagging Eric Ten Hag off this season I don't want to sack him because that, that that's being reactionary but one thing that was winding me up was his signings were on the bench mm. and I was like these these guys we've we know what they've been like for three or four years so with Martial Rashford getting dropped today was a massive good thing to see today mm -hmm. Garnacho. what did you like about him today he was fearless today like he was just taking on players um, like not really how do I put it like not too bothered about losing the ball and so he was just driving at the defence of Chelsea he put fear into their eyes today mm. McTominay coming up with these goals man like Listen, I know McTominay does take a lot of stick. He does because, you know, of his limitations on the ball, his limitation in connecting play, his build-up play, you know, maybe those intricacies of, of playing in centre midfield we don't see. But in terms of getting goals, you know, we've seen it at Scotland, we've seen it this year for us now, getting big goals for us. And, like, our forwards aren't scoring goals and he looks like the main goal for it. Is he our top goal scorer? Must be. I'm, I was just saying that's solid. I, I think he must be. Like, I'm about to look good today. Yeah. I'm I'm about well, like the Amrabat we, we thought we were signing today. What did you what did you think of him today? He didn't do anything like miraculous, but he was composed on the ball mm. all, at all times and he was always able to receive the ball on the other was on the back foot, on the front foot and um there was an extra body in there. And it felt like we were playing with more players because mm. of what Amrabat was doing. He was always available. I was surprised Kobe May knew didn't start today. Yeah, because when you see when I saw the team I was like the only thing, I like what he's done, take out Martial, put Hoyland, take out uh, Rashford, put Anthony. Then I looked at the midfield and I was like, he should really be taking out McTominay and putting Mainu for me. Like, that's what I wanted to see. But, listen, it worked. Scotty T said, nah, mate, listen, I'm, I'm, I'm doing my thing. It worked. It so. worked, yeah. So, you've got to give the manager credit. Mm. And, and I'm, he looked a bit more ruthless today, Eric Ten Hag, so mm. I was glad to see that. Yeah. A lot of people are talking about Harry Maguire Fantastic. today. He was unbelievable today. Player of the month as well, mate. Absolutely, and I, fair play to him because as a, as a man, I respect him a lot because, he's come through a lot, isn't he? as you said, he's come through a lot. And um, players like Jadon Sancho, I don't want to penalise Jadon Sancho, but like if 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 anyone, Harry Maguire could say he's had the worst treatment, and he stayed professional, he's worked his absolute socks off, and when he's coming the team, he's taking his chance, and he's he's when he's backside into the ground so yeah. I'm really happy Charlie was saying like he's our most consistent player at the minute and it's like weirdly he is and, and, and you know there is this stigma like you know because of the people laughing at him and the things he's had to go through and stuff but the way he's got himself just playing to a decent level and it's not listen he's not out of this world he's not Maldini he's not you know what I mean he's not Barese I'm not saying that but he's just got himself to a point where you never thought you'd see him play at a decent level for us absolutely I, mean, I, I think one thing he has shown this season, he's got great character. Yeah. Because he has been through a lot with like the media being on him. I've criticised him yeah. in the past, yeah. but when it's warranted. But yeah. you, you go, when he plays well, you've got to give him credit. And he's been, he's been our best player, I think, this season up to now. Mm. When you look at um, the team going forward, like, did you see... Because people are saying you know, Ten Hag's lost the dress room, he's lost 50% of the dress room. I'm not saying one game is going to change that. But did you see players fighting for him? Did you see players who care? Did you see players who, who are behind the manager? I think it's typical of the media to over-exaggerate. I, I, I think there is a few players that are trying to undermine Eric Ten Hag. I don't, mm. I don't think there's any doubt of that. But it's definitely not 50% because we wouldn't have put a performance like that today, would we? Mm. Like... If they weren't playing for all of them, weren't playing for him. We wouldn't have performed like that. So you don't believe that? You're like, nah, that's rubbish. 
I think a few players are trying to undermine Ter- Eric Ten Hag, but not all of them, definitely mm. not. What did you um, make of Chelsea? They were rubbish. On, <laughs> but do you know what? It's karma for them because the way how they've been talking. I, I was watching Chelsea fan TV, right? And they, they were saying they're more worried about bricks falling on the Reds and all that. I'm like, I have a bit of respect. And that's the thing. They, they were really poor. They, they give it all to Biggin. And again, they, we're better than them. <laughs> we are. And then the hideaway, like, as per usual. <laughs> Who was your man in the match, Brett? And why? Do you know what? I'm, I'm picking between Amrabat or Garnacho. Yeah. I'm going to go Amrabat because I think he's come through a tough time and he looked good today, so I'm going to go Amrabat. That was like his best game in the, in the United shirt, wasn't it, really, I'd say? Yeah, in midfield, yeah, not a left back. <laughs> no, so. Is, that, is that a sign there that, you know, we can maybe get him going, get him, you know? Because I think the things he did today, it wasn't like. He ran the show, but it was he just done all his basics well, what didn't he? he? Get the ball back, you know, win it back. Good, decent passes on the ball. Get us playing. Good fouls when he needed to make a couple of fouls. Be physical. Just he just done his basics well. Yeah, exactly, and that's what he needed to do today. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think it's a confidence boost for him and for all the players today. So does Eric Ten Hag persist now? Then is that is that a message to Rashford? Then you bring him back in and see if there's a reaction or keep. Like, what's that saying? It, 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 if you don't fix something that isn't broke, and we got to go with the same team, because if if Ten Hag reverts back to going with someone like Rashford and Marshall up top, then I'm like, what are you doing? Mm. Espe- especially if we don't get a result on Saturday. I think we will get a result on Saturday, but if we don't get a result on Saturday and he doesn't play the team played today, then he, he'll get he'll get criticised again by the press. And we, what we need right now, because. We've been struggling with the press, but uh, we, we needed we need them to get off our backs. Mm. And so, by Ten Hag playing a winning team, and we get a win on Saturday, it will it will get the press off our backs, and it will give us a winning boost going into Bayern and then going into Liverpool because <laughs> because it's not it's not really nice. But we'd rather go into that Liverpool game with three wins behind our belt and and maybe just put a good performance in. Mm. I'm not expecting us to win. Mm. But I don't want us to get humiliated again, so if we can do that, then that's fantastic. Brad, you're the man as usual. Get home safe, get get go get hot chocolate, something. <laughs>